Hello guys and this is a tutorial of Zamarin Farms. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a multi-bar chart and um, done out a chart. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for more videos. So let's continue on the last project. So we're gonna create a new class called um, multi-bar chart. So like in the last time, uh, we have created a multi-line chart. So this uh, class um, extend a bar chart class from micro charts. And like in the last time, we need to define some properties here, like uh, enumerable of enumerable of chart entry for multi-line uh, multi-bar uh, entries. And we need to create the init uh, private method in order to um, search the max and uh, the mean of uh, values. And it's uh, in the same way like the last time we need to create a draw content. So typically it's contain uh, almost the same code. So we're going to search um, the height of uh, footer Label size, item size, and the origin. Cool. After that, we need to calculate um, the multi bar points or multi line points and the distance between every point in order to draw uh, two bars. And here we have the draw of legend in order to show uh, the labels in the y um, axis. So eventually you can uh, modify this code um, for your needs. Now let's move to the main page view model. And here we're going to duplicate the multi-line uh, chart and change the type of this property to multi-bar chart class. And eventually uh, change the name to multi-bar chart. Good. Now let's move to uh, any data um, method. And before that, last time uh, we, we, um, we, we did not define the month in the X uh, axis. So let's make some changes here and change the label to the month of E. And E, it's an index uh, initialized to zero. And every time we add uh, data, so we need to um, affect the label value to month of E. And it's the same thing in the charge data. And don't forget to increment the E. So let's put E plus plus each iteration. And between the two uh, loops, uh, we need to initialize E to zero. Great. Finally, we're going to mm, assign multibar chart to a new uh, multibar chart class. And we need to change the property to multibar entries. And we don't have area here. Good. So in the XAML code, we need to duplicate this um, chart view and change just the binding and the row grid row to two. Cool. Let's put all this inside a scroll view. And let's run and see. Here we go. So let's scroll down and awesome. Here we have our um, chart bar with uh, multi bar uh, uh, items. Now uh, let's see something cool here. Let's make uh, a done out uh, chart. So we're going to duplicate this property and change the type of class to the out. Um, chart and eventually the name of this property. Cool. In the init data, 
we need to um, make some uh, property here. It will be um, the note entries. It will be equal to a new list of chart entry. And after that, we need to add the sum of um, the charge data and um, the turnover data. So the first one will be the turnover. So let's make the now chart entries dot add a new chart entry uh, and take in constructor here the data data dot sum method. So let's change the color to blue and the value label will be turnover and data dot sum uh, divided by 1000 and the label will be turnover cool so in the same way we're going to duplicate this code and make the same thing for charges data cool let's change the label to charges and the turnover to charges data nice and finally we're gonna affect the not chart it will be equal to new the not chart and we're gonna give here some properties like the entries and the label size text size let's copy it and i think we don't need the label orientation yes so we don't have the label orientation here and put the semicolon so let's move in the xaml code and duplicate the chart view and let's add the row definition and change the grid row to three and eventually the binding to uh, the now chart I have a problem here. I think it, it's missing the color braces here. Great. So let's run and see. So this is, is the real production of my uh, device. So let's scroll down and here uh, we have, we don't, I forgot to change the, the color of charge. So let's put it to red color. And eventually um, I think we need to uh, change the value label color to uh, blue color and same thing in the charges to red color in order to have the legends in the same color of um, the chart. Cool. Let's run and see the result. Here we go. Let's go down. Oh, it's pretty awesome here. So um, I think that's all for micro shards um, tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next tutorial.